I'm just lost. I got a really emotional and important message from one of my YouTube viewers, love you guys, John, and I wanted to read it and then answer it and uh, I got a lot of comments but this one really moved me and is, is, is really important. It's really important for you guys to understand this because I know a lot of you are going through it. So let me read it. Here's a dilemma for you, Eric. Okay, we know it's Evan, right? It's not Eric. I don't know, I think I have an entrepreneurial ADD. I started a few years ago thinking that I wanted to start a shop to work on cars, bikes, and so on. I've been tinkering on cars from the age of 12. I'm 22 now. I went out and got a job in the industry, really enjoyed it, and ended up starting my own shop about five months ago, and now I couldn't be more bored of it. I still enjoy working on cars, and it's always gonna be a hobby of mine, but every day it's becoming tedious and annoying. So I ended up quitting the business and working for a company doing the exact same thing, which is actually more fun that way for me because I enjoy being around people. And the shop I had was literally just me and I had my girlfriend come in after her job and help do silly things. But even now I'm not truly satisfied. I like the feeling of owning my own business and knowing that it's all under my control of my own hands. I really don't know why I feel that way, but it's just the way it is. I think I'm going to start heading in the direction of being around people, maybe buying and selling items, maybe some sort of retail business. I might start buying and selling instruments for I've played music also for my whole life. I guess what I'm wrapping it all up to question you is what do you think I should do? I feel like I'm never going to find the right direction. I'm, I'm really hoping that all this pans out and I enjoy the next path I attempted to go down. But everybody is telling me, hey, stick with something and it's actually starting to make me worry. I do have to settle down some point in my life. I have bills and an apartment. But I really enjoy cars, I really enjoy music, I really enjoy buying and selling things retail-wise. I enjoy being around people and I enjoy festivals and festivities. I'm just lost in the sauce on what path to go down. Any advice? So it's a long message. John is, you know, at his wits end. He's pouring it all out there for you. And, you know, I really feel for John. And, and this is such an important topic, okay? This is such an important topic because most people they get up and they drive to a job that they hate and they're living for the evenings and weekends right that's 80 percent of america plus they wake up they're driving to this company that they can't stand and then they're just they can't wait for quitting time and they're waiting for what they're going to do on the weekends that's when they live and and for me that's not a way to live i don't want to just live for my weekends and my evenings i want to be doing meaningful important work if that's running my own business or if it's taking a job, if that's what I meant to do. But I want to be doing something where I feel like I'm having an impact. What I'm doing is important. So the path that you need to follow is this. There's three simple steps. One, explore. Two, follow the flow. And three, pivot. Okay, what does that mean? Let me break it down. One, explore. You got to explore things. Okay, you got to try stuff. You don't know if you're going to like something until... You actually go in and do it. You don't look at data and say, well, I'm this type of person, so I'm going to go into this type of job. Go and try and see if it works, see if you like it, right? And congratulations, first of all, for having the guts to go out and launch your own shop and say, you know what? I want to explore this. I'm going to go out and do it. And so it didn't work. And so you're going to go do something else. But you have to keep exploring. And don't listen to your friends and family who say, hey, it's time to settle down. Now it's time for you to join the rest of the world and live a crappy life, right? Is that what you want to do? So, so it didn't work out once? You took one shot and that's it? You give up and you, you live the life that everybody else hates? That's not the answer. You got to get up and try again. Explore and small starts. Start something on a small level and just try it out. Stop thinking about something and get out of your head and start actually doing something and see if you enjoy it. You might try something and you hate it, and now you know, you have your answer. You may try something and you love it, and you wanna do more, and more, and more, and more. If you get obsessed with it, that's number two. You follow your flow. You see what you love doing. You're trying a bunch of stuff, right? You're at this point where you don't know what to do, go out and try stuff. You're gonna keep doing the stuff that you love to do. There's some things you're gonna try, say, wow, this is awesome, and you wanna keep doing it, and keep doing it. And suddenly the whole day has passed by, like, what happened to my day? It was amazing. You want to do it again. You're obsessed. You, th you think about it when you're sleeping. Maybe you wake up early the next day because you can't wait to go and do it again. Right? So you're following your flow. If you get in that zone, you got to stay there. That's where the great stuff happens. When you're following your flow, not doing some crappy job that you don't like anymore. If it's tedious and boring, don't do it. You think you're going to build a great life doing stuff that's tedious and boring? 
No, you got to do the stuff that makes you come alive. So you have to follow your flow. You explore, you follow the flow. Number three is pivot. You might find that after following your flow, it doesn't work out anymore. The passion goes away, right? You started your car thing. You thought, hey, this is great. This is what I always wanted to do. You try it. Five months later, it's not working out. You pivot. You go do something else. You start exploring again. That's okay. Sometimes that flow lasts for a month, six months, a year, a decade. You know, you don't know how long it's going to last. I'm making these videos. Okay, let me tell you two stories. I'm making these videos. Okay, I've tried a whole bunch of stuff in my career. A new idea comes along. I love to try it just to explore. I explore a whole bunch of stuff. Most of it doesn't work out. Sometimes I try something and, and I like it for a little bit and I continue on doing it and then I get bored of it. So I either close it down or if it's important to the company, I give it to somebody else to manage because I don't want to touch it. Because if I was continuing to do that, my business wouldn't grow. Because me doing stuff that I hate or I'm bored of or is tedious or I don't like anymore, that's not going to be me building a great company. So I'm making these videos. I love making these videos. It's one of the favorite parts of my week is answering your questions, seeing what comes in and feeling like, hey, I'm helping people out. Your comments coming back is fuel for me every single day. Maybe one day I'll get bored of it. If I don't like video day, if, I, if it's Wednesday when I record all these videos and I'm like, oh man, I gotta do more videos. This sucks, man. I hate this. You think I'm gonna make great videos with that attitude? No, so I, I would have to shut it down. And that would be very sad, at least right now. I love the video, so I'm gonna keep going for now. But you will have that moment where you may get tired or something and it's okay to move on, okay? Let me tell you one more quick story that I've told before in some of my videos. This applies not just to business, but what you do in your life. And I remember I've tried three activities recently, okay? Dancing, rock climbing, and snowboarding. The rock climbing one, I went rock climbing, someone invited me. He said, hey, sure, I've never gone rock climbing, let me try it out. I hated it, okay? I hate rock climbing, I had a terrible experience. You know, I'm afraid of heights, I don't like looking down, I don't like feeling like I can't reach the next thing. The, the strap was, anyway, whatever. I didn't like it. I'm not gonna go back again. That's cool, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with having tried it, not having this, I wish I could do things. I don't have this, I wish I could do list. If I wanna do something, I go out and try it. So rock climbing is not for me. Then I tried snowboarding. Somebody said, hey, join us for a snowboarding trip. I've never gone snowboarding. Hey, why not? Let's try it out. And I loved it. And, and I became obsessed with it. The next week I went out and bought all my gear. I bought my own board, the boots, the hat, the coat, everything. I went out and bought everything I needed to be snowboarding. And I would, I would spend every day in the winter snowboarding. Every single day I went snowboarding because I loved it so much. I would be like waiting for meetings to end so I can go snowboarding. I might even rush through video day like, oh, I, guess I, can, I, I got an hour, I can go hit the snowboarding hill. There was one close to where I live. I loved it. And that lasted for two years and then my interest has started to fade. It's always gonna be part of me, I think. I love snowboarding, it's still great, but I'm not obsessed. I don't wake up you know, in the morning, like, oh, I can't wait to go snowboarding, right? I'll, I'll push a meeting so I can go snowboarding, right? So the, the passion is faded. The third one is salsa. And dancing salsa, you look at it on paper and it, it's, it was a stupid decision for me to get into salsa, right? I'm too tall, I take huge steps, I have no dance background, I didn't understand the music, I don't speak the language, I don't know any of the moves. I'm starting so late in life, like, this is never gonna be something that would, would on paper look good for me to do, right? So this is, um, if I went in thinking this is my next business opportunity, this is my next love that I'm gonna fall in love with, right? The next thing that's gonna skyrocket me, it wouldn't make any, I probably wouldn't even try it because it didn't make any sense logically. But I went, I went to the first class and I just loved it. And I would go back and do more. I couldn't get enough salsa. I'm listening to the music and I'm watching the videos. I'm learning turn patterns. The guy's responsibility is to lead what are called turn patterns. You're leading the moves. And I remember thinking at night about moves that I can come up with. And I remember being in meetings with, with guys for business. And I would imagine, hmm, if I took his hand and moved his arm like this, oh, I could make this new turn pattern. And I'd like zone out of my meeting and then come back. Because I was thinking about salsa. And it became this passion. It's been going 10 years now and I'm an investor in 
the largest salsa dance studio in Canada, maybe North America, I teach five, 6,000 students a year how to dance salsa. It's a huge part of my life. I'll DJ and, and teach some of the classes and it's, it's been awesome. And so I'm following the flow, right? I explored, I followed the flow and I haven't pivoted off of salsa like I did off of snowboarding because I still love it. And it's worked out for me. And I would have never thought about getting into that. So when you're first getting started, right? When you're in this stage now, you don't know what to do. You feel this pressure that you need to settle down. You need to figure out what you're going to do with your life. And it's all chaos and you don't know what to do. And when you force yourself into a decision, it's not going to be a great one, right? You force yourself to go get a job. You're not going to be great or happy in that life, right? Whenever you've got a gun to your head and make a decision right now, it's never the best one. You need to give yourself the space to explore, to follow your flow, and to pivot. And remember that all these people who are trying to force you to make a decision, they hate their lives too. They're not doing anything great. So why are you taking advice from people who haven't done great things in their life? You look at the people who have done great things and a lot of them have bounced from something to something to something and explored and failed and failed and tried something and didn't work out before they hit their thing that helps them explode. Research famous entrepreneurs. Look at the people who you look up to and respect and learn from their success. This is where it comes from. If you want to be great, you want to help have a huge impact on the world, you want to live a fulfilled life, then you have to remember, explore, follow your flow, and pivot. Believe. For those of you watching and you like the video, support me by clicking on the link in the description. Leave a comment, let me know what you think and click on my face, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.